vivid revelation of what would happen 3,000 years in advance, is that there would be an end-time cabal, an end-time conspiracy, not a conspiracy theory, but a conspiracy led by the world's wealthy elite, powerful, influential, that would try to take God out of culture. An antichrist spirit is rising up. In other words, what we're seeing here in Psalms chapter 2 is we're seeing an end-time cabal, an end-time conspiracy of wealthy, powerful, elite people um, empowered by the spirit of Antichrist. And they're saying, they're not actually using their, these words, but it's the language that David chose. Let us tear their fetters apart and cast away their cords from us. Now, that is basically what they want to do is they want to take God out of culture. They want to take God out of the world. They want to remove the word of God out of the world so it's not influencing the world so that basically people can live however they want to live. What, we're, what David is describing here is an antichrist in time movement that I believe is going to give birth to the final uh, last two antichrist kingdoms that's going to prepare the way for the Lord's second coming. The Lord, or, or the, this is what David wrote, he says, he who sits in the heavens, he laughs. Now, he's not laughing like, you know, he thinks this is funny. He's laughing because he knows he is the master chess player and he's moving the pieces of this conspiracy to work it out for his sovereign purpose for the end times. God is not moved or phased by what is taking place. And we should not be either. We should not allow fear to grip our hearts. Now, I mean, we need to fear God and him alone. We should not allow fear to grip our hearts. Fear can have no place in us. We cannot fear this conspiracy. The Lord sits in the heavens and laughs. The Lord scoffs at them. He will speak to them in his anger and he will terrify them in his fury. Now, I was, as we were worshiping, I was thinking about this. Is Last Sunday, we had the Super Bowl and the Los Angeles Rams won the Super Bowl. And Cooper Cup won the MVP trophy. And I don't know if you heard his story, but it's pretty amazing. Um, he, he released it last after the Super Bowl. He, as he said, 2019, we walked off the field that last uh, that last time after losing to the Patriots. I wasn't able to be a part of that thing. But I don't know what it was. There's just this vision that God revealed to me that we were going to come back. We were going to be a part of a Super Bowl. We were going to win it. And uh, and somehow, somehow, I was going to walk off the field as the MVP of the game. And I shared that with my wife because I couldn't tell anyone else, obviously, what that was. But from the moment this postseason started, there was just a belief in every game. It was just, it was written already. Um, it was written already, and, and I just got to play free knowing that, um, you know, I got to play from victory, not for victory. I got to play in a place where I was, I was validated, not from anything that happened on the field, but because of my worth in, in God and in my father. He was a strong believer. He had a vision, and the Lord gave him a vision that they would be back in the Super Bowl and that he would win the MVP of the Super Bowl. And, one, and he won the MVP of the Super Bowl. It's one of the things he said was he said, I, after that vision, I began to operate from victory. And so that didn't mean he didn't work hard. That didn't mean he just said, God's just sovereignly going to do it. No, he put the, all the effort and the practice and he studied all this stuff. So when we talk about the end time conspiracy, we go into the detail of these things. We're, what we're seeing is we're seeing the enemy's blueprint for defeat is we're, look, we're operating from victory, not for victory, all right? So I want us to have complete confidence, the same confidence the Lord has. He sits in the heavens and he laughs, just like Cooper Cup. When he was going through all the different opponents' game plans, he was looking at this is their game plan for defeat because he was operating out of victory, from victory.